hey, you like coffee, you like wine, you like fizzy things, why not put them all together? Now, there may be many good reasons not to put these all together, but let's give it the benefit of the doubt. And let's assume that somehow the red wine and the caffeine flavours are going to work well together. Right, this flavour is the Cabernet Coffee Espresso. <laughs> I'm very sceptical though, because I do love coffee, but I actually really hate wine, so... This is going to be very, very interesting. Well, you know what this is? This is the espresso martini before you get to the espresso martinis. All right. That's it looks like one. wine. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, get, get your nose in there. Now, the problem is you don't get any nose because all you smell is the coffee. Oh, you wow. You don't smell, you really can't so, pick uh, up any kind of... And we're not starting with white. You're, you're having a I'm more, I, Well, I'm more curious about the red because I just don't think the white's going to work. Really? Oh, it even smells like mm. coffee. <laughs> You know, I don't want to be unkind, but that tastes like cough medicine. Oh! Really? <laughs> Straight from the can. That's heinous. <laughs> like, that's actually so horrible. That tastes like a, you know, one of those awful mudslide drinks, like mixed up with like pulse and like goon? <laughs> Ooh, who invented that? No, honestly, it's horrible. It's not horrible. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean, it's not the best. It's drinkable. It's, I would call it drinkable. But there's something, there's something in the sort of the coffee syrup that goes in it. It's definitely better than that one. Is it? So you're, you're preparing it's the white? Peachy. All right, I'll have to try the white now. Peachy? Obviously, I have mm. to move along. Think of milkshake. Oh, yeah, it smells better mm. for sure. That, yeah, I mean, it's not great. It's much, much better than the mm. red much night. Much better. Yeah, Which the is red is really not working. Because you'd expect this one to be to be better because it's both better. a bit darker. Well, yeah. The yeah. interesting, the interesting thing is that they chose Cabernet rather than Shiraz. Yeah, Shiraz would be the obvious one to pick up. Generally, you get more yeah. coffee notes out of a Shiraz right. break than you would out of a, yeah. Yeah. a Cabernet. <laughs> I don't think it's worth smelling. No. <laughs> I think coffee is supposed to taste like, but it's actually what a Starbucks coffee tastes like. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking <laughs> where have I tasted this before? It's Starbucks. This is, what this, it is. this is it what is you the fill one of those powder, one yeah. liter containers of Starbucks yeah. sort of coffee with. It's uh, a little bit too syrupy for my taste, but I think if you brought that to a party, it would at least be a talking point. It's kind of cool. It's interesting. Everyone would want to give it a try. Okay, so the white one with the Chardonnay and the Cappuccino actually takes me back to my uni days with Passion Pop. Surprisingly, it's a little bit fruity, a little bit peachy on the palate. Not too terrible. What's your best memory on Passion Pop? It does. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I like wine, I like coffee, sometimes I'm quite fussy about my wine, and sometimes I'm the guy barreling into the gutter at a rate of knots. I would have to be the guy barreling into the gutter to really want to go for either of these.